class constants are just constants associated to the class. So if you want to have um, constant immutable variables associated to the class, you should definitely use constants. When you are about to declare a constant, you declare it with const keyword. Const, and then you name your constant whatever you want. Here, you don't use dollar sign. You just name it directly. And the common practice is to name your constant with uppercase, like uh, my constant. So, and if you have multiple words in your constant name, uh, you should separate with underscore. That's also a common practice, but if you want, you can name it with just like this, my constant. Um, I follow these standards, so I'm going to name it with my underscore constant, and I can assign whatever I want. So, it, my constant can be a number, it can be a string, boolean, or it can even be an array. And if you want to access your constant, you access it uh, with uh, the class name, then colon, colon, and my constant. If you want to access your constant inside the class, you can access it in a similar way, but instead of car, you can use self keyword like self my constant. So why should I use constants? Constants are really useful when you want to have a immutable variables inside the class, which is associated to the class. Let's talk about the simple example, like we have a math class, for example, and we want to create some constants inside the math. So like pi, for example, so which is 3.14. And if you want to create some other uh, constant variables, you can do right here. Of course, you don't need color and manufacturer variables for math class. Let's make um, example a little bit complicated and return back to our car example. If I have a car class and uh, the, car, uh, the car has color and manufacturer, and if I have a constructor function which accepts color and manufacturer and then saving them in public variables, I'm going to do the following. So when I create an instance like my car is new car, I give there two variables, two uh, values, red, and for a manufacturer, let's say it's Mercedes, okay? So of course this works fine, and if I print right now my car, this will print the uh, red and Mercedes. But what if I have a typo in my manufacturer? So we can create constants, like constant, like let's start with manufacturer, BMW. And you can associate, it, associate the actual name, BMW. So we can have a different, like Tesla, for example. And let's do the third one. Mercedes. Okay, and let's do the same for color. Constant color red, color green, and blue. Let's say that we have fine it set. Okay. Uh, so what we are going to do here, instead of giving red and Mercedes as a strings, hard-coded strings, I'm going to use the constants like car, uh, excuse me, car class, colon, colon, and I am, I'm just typing in my editor manufacturer with uppercase, manufacturer, and it filters all, all my uh, constants which starts with manufacturer or contains manufacturer. So I see the finite sets right here, and I can choose whatever I want, like manufacturer Mercedes. And Mercedes will be used as a manufacturer. For color, I can use color, colon, colon, uh, start typing color, and choose whatever I want, like, like green, for example. Uh, let me move this new line. Okay, and here is my car, and if I run the code, uh, my variable looks like the same. So the color is green, manufacturer is Mercedes, but I don't have to manually type the actual string. So using constant uh, reduce the number of errors in your code. And it's really common practice if you have some um, finite set of strings to create a corresponding constants for them. 
You can, of course, create as many constants in your class as you want. That's absolutely and totally fine. That's it for constants. Um, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.